Hello everybody, welcome. This is another tutorial on how to make a snakes game. Let's just uh, jump right in here, give you the basic logic kind of for it, and we'll set it up. It's uh, it's super easy. So to start off with here, we have made a little illustration. Length is going to be the uh, variable we use to keep track of how long our snake is. We're going to have two arrays, xx and yy. What's going to happen is they're each going to get an index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or a position in the array. What's going to happen is every update function that's called for, or the last index of our snake, is going to grab the next one, and so on, until we reach the end here, in which case we will then update the last one to the direction that we pressed on our, our keyboard. So this is how snake games work. <coughs> Excuse me, this is how... Um, this is how the logic works, so let's just jump right in. I have here a blank blank uh, project, so let's just make a, um, an object there. Call it object snake, sorry. Okay, we're going to create some variables here. Start off here, we're going to call one here called cell size. It's going to equal 32. The starting length is going to be 1, and we're just going to initialize the first variables here. Now what we're going to do here using mod is basically um, we're finding the we're finding the remainder of dividing x by cell size and we're subtracting that from x so we're making x divisible by cell size. It's um, it's how you snap something to a grid of a certain size. Okay and then we also need to set the direction that we want our thing to start. 0 is up, 1 is right, 2 is down, 3 is left. So we're going to start it going to the right, and then we're also going to make another variable called hit, which is going to be the index of the square that gets hit when we collide with ourself. We'll use that later on. And the last one here, update speed, we're just going to set that to 15. Then we're going to set alarm 0 to the update speed. Okay, now we're going to make um, two scripts. One is going to be the update function, and uh, the second is going to be the script to add a snake. So let's just start by adding the um, snake update here. Now we're going to start by adding a for loop, which is going to loop through all of our snakes so we can do some stuff to them. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set xx of length minus i, like that, to the xx of a length minus i plus 1. So we're starting from the very end and we're moving our way towards the beginning using this, this little piece of logic here. Okay, and we do the same thing for yy. Okay, and then we need to set um, our last one, which is position 0 to um, we need to increase it by cell size or decrease it by cell size or whatever according to what we press. So we're going to have to run through some if statements here. So if our direction is 0, then uh, it's going to be y. And we're going to subtract cell size, moving it up, minus equal cell size. This is like the third time I recorded this tutorial, and I just keep making the dumbest mistakes. It's so frustrating. So the same thing for 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 1 is to the right, and 3 is to the left. So um, 1 is to the right. We need to add cell size. 2 is down. We need to add cell size. And 3 is to the left. We subtract it. That is it. And now we also need to um, check to make sure that um, none of our xx values matches another xx value or our yy match another yy. Um, or we haven't collided with ourselves is basically what we're checking. But we do want to um, exclude um, position 0. So we're going to set i to 1, because otherwise we're checking to see if, if, if position xx of 0 equals xx of 0. It's, it does. It's just going to end the game for you. So set that to 1, and then we're going to loop through as many times as we have, as many snakes as we have here. And we're going to say if xx of 0 equals xx of i and yy of 0 equals yy of i we want to say hit equals i and return false 
otherwise we want to return true. So we're returning a true or false, so we can check this function when we call it to see if we should keep on updating it or if we should stop, the game's ended, whatever. Uh, that's it for update function. Now all we have to do here is add in our add snake, which is real easy. All we're doing is incrementing length by one, and then we're filling position um, length with position uh, length minus one. And same thing for y. I'm just going to copy this. There we go. That's all it is. So now we can just jump into object snake and do the rest here. We're almost done. Alarm zero. We're going to say if uh, snake update is true, then we're just going to set alarm zero back to our update speed. So we'll keep updating unless we have hit ourselves. Now, last thing we need to do here is go into our step and make sure we uh, change directions whenever we. Hold on here, sorry. Uh, we just, okay, we just need to change directions whenever uh, we press some, some some keys. So if keyboard check pressed, we're going to start with up. But we also need to check to make sure that uh, this position, the, the one right next to position zero, I mean, this is getting too cluttered. We need to make sure that here the position next to zero isn't the direct in, in the direction you want to go. So if you if you're going to the right like this, and you hit left, you can't back up into yourself. We want to make sure you don't go into yourself. So uh, you could, and you could essentially you know kill yourself by doing that. But in some games, I don't let you do that. You can kind of reverse it, and the snake reverses, but. We're just not going to do that. You just won't be able to back up in yourself. We're going to make it easy. So all we're going to check to do here is check to see if xx of 0, if we're going up, uh, should it's going to be y of 0 minus cell size. Make sure that does not equal yy of 1, the one next to it. If it is not, direction equals 0. OK. Now we need to change these to up, right, down, and left. And then uh, right is going to be xx, uh, and left is going to be xx. So change those, and then direction 0, 1, 2, 3. And if it's going right, we need to add cell size, and if it's going to be left, uh, if it's going down, sorry, we need to add cell size. So I hope this makes sense. Um, but yeah, basically then we're, we're just, we're checking to see if the X or Y position when we press the direction, or when we press a key is is already taken by that next square. That's all we're doing. It's, uh, it's not too complicated. So that's it there. And then I also just want to put in an if keyboard Check press to VK space. If I could type, that would be good. I just want to add a snake. That's it. Okay, the last thing we need to do now is just add in our draw event. We draw all of our squares and stuff. So, so our i equals zero, i is less than length. And we're going to increase i by one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, draw a rectangle at xx0, or I'm sorry, xxi, yyi, and then xxi plus cell size, and yyi plus cell size. And then outline true, we're just going to outline it. And then um, above it here, I'm going to say if if hit equals i, then I want to draw a rectangle with some color in it. So it shows us which square we hit or intersected ourselves with. And uh, it's going to be this, the same code as this here. Copy and paste that. And I want the color red. It's kind of a bad color to see. OK, uh, red. And then outline, uh, no, we want to fill that in. Okay, that does it for the draw event. That is it. Let's uh, let's add the snake to our room. 
I must give this a shot. We should have a completely working snake game. I probably messed something up, though. Yep, there's C. I always mess something up. Yeah, wait, what is this? I tell ya. This is like my third time recording this tutorial, and uh, I've just made some of the dumbest mistakes. It's embarrassing, actually. Okay, well, it's moving. That's good. We can move it left, down, up, right, all around. I hit space. It adds in another rectangle. Awesome. Now, you notice when I hit space there, it kind of... It's not really smooth adding it on to the end. It just kind of like sometimes glitches on and moves to the next square. So uh, what, I, what I like to do is in my snake, or in my add snake here, I go length minus one. Equals length minus two like that. So it adds it and it's a little more smooth adding it onto the snake. I don't know. That's just kind of my preference. See, I add it and then they just kind of they, they just kind of appear once the snake starts moving. So let's just make sure the self-collision works. I'm just going to add a bunch more. And uh, let's see here. There it goes. Turns red. The game stops. That is it. Uh, the rest you guys can do yourselves. It's pretty straightforward, but this is the this is the logic for it. So hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, please enter them down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you.